Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, I will be demystifying a famous riddle for you involving 12 marbles. For those of you that haven't heard of this problem, it goes like this. You have 12 marbles and a balance scale. One out of the 12 marbles is inconsistent with the others, meaning it could be heavier or lighter than its peers of normal weight. You are allowed to use the balance scale exactly three times to identify which of the 12 marbles is the oddball and determine whether it is heavier or lighter than normal. I encourage you to pause here and attempt the problem yourself. When you're ready to see my solution, you can continue with the video. At first, this problem doesn't sound very difficult. But if your instinct tells you that there must be a catch, you're right. This riddle is notoriously complex for a reason. The fact that you don't know at the onset whether the irregular marble is heavier or lighter than normal makes all the difference. Now, there are many solutions to this problem floating around. Today, I want to offer you a unique solution that my dad came up with. I don't believe anyone has approached the problem in this way before, and in my opinion, it is the most intuitive solution I've heard. The key to this approach is keeping track of information. So, let's begin by creating a color key to help us stay organized. Here, we have green representing the good or the marbles of normal weights. Yellow means lighter if known. In other words, if you know a marble is irregular and it's colored in yellow, then you know it's lighter than normal. Likewise, if you know a marble is irregular and it's colored in blue, then it's heavier than normal. White means we have absolutely no information about the weight of the marble. If you're still a little confused about the blue and the yellow, don't worry, they will make more sense as we get farther into the problem. For now, just try to remember the key. To begin, let's talk about the setup. Before we perform our first way, we have no information about any of the marbles, so we start with 12 white ones. Now let's set up our first way. We first want to divide the 12 marbles into three groups of four. Next, we weigh two of the groups against each other. From here, there are two possible outcomes. We'll start with the simpler one. That is, both sides weigh the same. This means all eight of the marbles we weighed are normal and we can color them green. Next, we take three of the remaining four marbles and weigh them against three of the eight green ones. In subscenario one, the two sides weigh the same. We now know that these three white marbles are normal so we can color them green. We also know that the last marble is the irregular one. We can then weigh it against a green one to determine whether it's lighter or heavier. In subscenario two, the two sides don't weigh the same. In this case, we can glean a very important piece of information. We now know whether our irregular marble is lighter or heavier than normal. Thus, we can color the side blue or yellow accordingly. For the sake of demonstration, let's say our irregular marble is lighter. We still can't pinpoint which of the three is irregular, so we will color all of them yellow. To identify the culprits, we weigh two of them against each other. The lighter one is the oddball. If the two weigh the same, then the third unselected yellow marble is irregular. Please note that the same principle applies with the blue marbles. Except in the final weighing, the heavier of the two is the oddball. Now let's discuss the more complex outcome. In this case, after our initial weighing, the two sides don't balance. That means the remaining four unweighed marbles are good. Let's color them green and set them aside. At this point, we know that our oddball is either heavier and on the left side or lighter and on the right. Thus, we can color the four marbles on the left blue and the four on the right yellow. 
Once again, if the culprit is on the yellow side, then we already know that it's lighter than normal. Vice versa, if it's on the blue side, then it's heavier than normal. From here, there are several possible variations for setting up the next step, and I challenge you to come up with one yourself. In the method I'm showing you, we weigh three yellow and one blue marble against three green and one yellow. In subscenario one, the side with the three yellow and one blue marble is heavier. This means the oddball is either the blue marble on the left side or the yellow on the right. To determine which one, weigh one of them against the green. Here, I weigh a blue against the green and notice that the blue is heavier, meaning it is the irregular one. If, however, the blue and green balanced, then we know the yellow is irregular and lighter than normal. In subscenario two, the side with the three yellow and one blue marble is lighter. This means the oddball is one of the yellow marbles on the right side. We can weigh two of them against each other to determine the irregular one. If they're not the same weight, then the lighter of the two is the culprit. If they do weigh the same, then the culprit is the remaining yellow marble that we did not weigh. And finally, we have subscenario three, where the two sides weigh the same. Recall that we still have three blue marbles that we did not include in our weighing. If our chosen ones weigh the same, it means the oddball is one of the remaining blue marbles. Again, we weigh two of them against each other. If they don't weigh the same, then the heavier of the two is irregular. If they're balanced, then the oddball is the remaining unweighed blue marble. And that's it. We just covered all of the possible scenarios for solving this riddle. Now that you know the solution, feel free to challenge your friends and amaze them with your knowledge. In the comment section below, let me know your methods of solving this riddle. You can also visit my website, www.prepwithgen.com, for a written version of the solution.